With this, my youth fresh party is guaranteed. Can I get porky? Can I get good taste? Can I get triangle? Yes, it's all sorted. Mom. Makes your kids smarter. Wow, party assured. Yes, it's party time. One drinks that taste so good. That's a refreshing. Makes your kids smarter. Make them feel energized. I've got the drinks for you. We made them just for you. Hey, you fresh. You fresh comes in different flavors and shapes. You fresh. Why my eye is fresh? So that is the word of God. To come into the question again, 
Are people going to die? Of course, people are still going to die because death has been part of the system. And nobody can stop it. The only person who can stop it is the people involved. One, how do they check out their lives? Two, how are they aware? If the person is a Christian, does he know that Jesus has given him life? If the person is not even a Christian, how frequent does he check out? Look at the food we are eating today compared to the food we are eating yesterday. The junk food are causing more cancer, cancer cells, and other things. That is the world we are in today. What Ghanaians has to know is not everything is caused by demons. Not everything is caused by sin. Nobody is to die because he sin. Bible said the soul that sin should die. And Jesus Christ fulfilled that scripture for everybody. So anybody who dies is a choice or ignorance. Either one, about the life and death is in your, 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 your words. So what you see is what you become. There was a story that happened some years ago. A man and a woman, they were married couples, and the man looked at his wife and said, Sweetie, well, I love you. If I die today, what would you do? Go in the bed. And the wife said, I will also die. After many years, the man was going for a project and a program. Then he had an accident, he died. The wife said, I will not believe it until I see my husband's body. Convince other people they took a car. On the way as they were going, the car had an accident. And only the woman that died. The question is, people did not hear when she said in her bedroom with the husband. All those things, God, why? God has placed life and death in the world. A man who has decided not to die, no weapon in this world can kill him, except he give up his life. So, if anybody wants to live into 2018, one, the first thing the person needs is he needs to be a child of God. I'm not saying go to church. Being a church member and going to church does not make you a Christian. He needs to be a child of God. Now, what does it mean to be a child of God? Romans chapter 10, verse 8, 9, and 10. Bible says, with the heart man believes, and is made righteous before God with the mouth. We confess the Lordship of Jesus. The moment you declare Jesus as your Lord, you receive the very nature and the life of God into you. Bro, let me check this. Okay, we look at the 27 here. There were a lot of prophecies uh, as regards uh, the regards of the Some pieces are quite critical uh, as to the fact that uh, these prophecies are coming to play because what they actually hear is what is really transparent. In your perspective, do you think some of the prophecies that were more or less uh, to say that that will actually be more representative of hardship is what is really happening all the time around? One, there is no prophet whose word concludes the matters of God. There are different kinds of prophecies. There are prophecies which cannot be changed. Example, a virgin will give birth and his name shall be called Jesus. No matter how you pray against it, it cannot be changed. But any message which is concerning any individual or nation, whether you are going to die, whether this one is going to be the president, whether this one is going to be sick, this one is going to be like this. If the people involved get on their knees or begin to cry to God for a change, that prophet will be, that message will be destroyed. And we've seen several times in the Bible where God sent a prophet that go and tell the king, prepare your house, you're going to die. And when the prophet went out, the king said, in the grave, we cannot praise God. And he decided not to die. So what that prophet has given mercy that there's going to be hardship. You see, when people are talking of hardship, sometimes I wonder, because not everybody is experiencing hardship in Ghana. The time people are crying, there's hardship, some are buying new cars. So it matters whether you want to read the news or you want to make the news. Which class do you want to be? Are you in the class of complaining? And complainers are part of the masses. They never make impact. So as people are complaining, you, 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 let, let me give you an example. Especially with prosperity. We left farming system. We now want white jobs. Now, most of the rich people now are having the white jobs, employing the poor people to work there. And they still go back to the farming system to raise money. So, what is the game here? We think somebody is always better than us. But everybody at whatever stage you are, you are the best at that stage. Secondly, no prophecy has the final conclusion. On any matter, sending you the nation or even the church. No prophecy has the final 
say in your life? No, now we have just seven days to get this print. So the end 2017, as I said earlier on, most businesses are so worried. They think they cannot even make it obvious for more motivation to all these businesses out there. One, if there's anybody who think they cannot make it to 2018, uh, I'll say one. A lot of people want to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Two. If you want to go to heaven, you surely have to die. Or you have to be taken by rapture. Secondly, from now to 2018, can you believe, the most important thing is, can you believe that Jesus is your Lord? If you believe it. Two. Can you see that year that you've, you've already ended? And one of the things we have to all know is the church is getting to a place where yesterday church is losing value of today because of the system today. So what we have to know is, I want to tell anybody that Jesus is the only way the truth and life. Secondly, fear not because fear has the tendency of destroying faith and destroying divine purpose. You will not die. You will live to declare the glory of God. You will not die. So don't worry, you enter into 2018. Even if there was an assignment of death by you by any form of authority or any form of dominion or demonic activity, even if there was a prophecy against you that you will not die. I also speak life on you and I, I suspect those prophecies. And I declare that you shall not die, but you will live to declare the glory of God. Okay, my message to everybody is we are not celebrating a season. We are not celebrating an occasion. We are celebrating the birth of a church, the birth of our Lord Jesus. So we don't say greeting season, we say Merry Christmas because it's the only time God gave us His Son. So anybody here or anybody who will hear my voice or who hears my voice as I'm talking, I want you to know that Christmas without the person of Jesus is abomination. What I want to tell you is the only way to life is Jesus. Merry Christmas to the President of the nation and the Father of the nation is the President of the Father. Merry Christmas to all the opposition parties, the incumbent power and everyone like that. Merry Christmas to pastors and everyone. Merry Christmas to the church members. We are at last B19 Uh Our church name is Outreach Believers Ministry. This is my personal account. If you call me anytime you can get me. I'm also in the office Monday to Friday from morning to 5 o'clock in the evening. 9964-0246-819964. We meet on Sundays. We meet on Mondays morning too as a prophetic morning session. On Sunday is a miracle session where anywhere the sick is you can bring. You can even go to the hospital and bring the sick. Then I will take this privilege to say next year we have an, another session of our one day miracle session where the cripple walk, the blind see, the power of God is seen greatly. Then the coming Thursday, Friday, and Sunday evening is 31st. We have an evening section, then the, we start from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Then the Sunday evening, we start from 8.30 to dawn. And the glory of God will be seen so much. God bless you, Mother God. God bless you. Then you heard it all from the prophet and also the founder of our Grace Believers Ministry International. Ashibi Shalom support all from Ashaman Road, indicating to all and service perspective Christians that in as much as we have in this season, the military season, it doesn't mean we should be reluctant. But then the prayer for and Mr. Pastor for that will be the only way we can make it bigger. And also best your practices that do not conform with the norms of the Bible and also the society. And heard it again that he was advocating for the need as Christians to embrace the faith and also have that steadfast love for one another. He thinks that with this, we have a prosperous life and also a sweet surface we see in the every now and then. As with that, that, he says, it doesn't mean all that are caused through sins, but sometimes it's through an appointment. When you are due, no matter what, you are likely to be 
So this brings us to the end of today's edition. We look forward to meeting again as it delves into other areas of interest. Bro, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate your time. As I said earlier on, we'll come to him again as he takes us through other areas of interest that will also go a long way to bring the business field to the highest level for the better benefit of ourselves, the church and the nation. But like once again, thank you for watching today's